Well, we're gonna go inside and check out the Garst Museum. This is the National Annie Oakley Museum. This is going to be fun. This place already looks like it's cool and it's, already, it's huge from what I hear. A little more about Annie Oakley. She was born Phoebe Ann Moses in 1860. Right here we are in the Garst Museum in Greenville, Ohio. This place is a 35,000 square foot museum. And boy, are they loaded with some nice antiques. And what Greenville is noted for is Annie Oakley. So let's check it out. Here's an old U.S. mail truck wagon. Look inside here. The J.C. Penney Company, right there. The Regal Stable. The Regal family. Let's read a little bit about the Regal family. These are the things I like to see right here. These old stagecoaches. This is miraculous. You can almost feel what it'd be like to ride in one of those back in the 1800s, early 1900s. Now it was riding in style. That was the cabs and Cadillacs of the 1800s. Well, look at this right here. Look at this little hot rod. This thing. Is fabulous. Idings, Idings, number ninety-three. I just noticed on this wagon here that it looks like it has the presidential seal. Gypsy Lynn says I'm blowing a lot of hot air today. Little did she know. Here's an old chainsaw. Look at that. That's, that thing's huge. Not part of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. The mallet right there. We used to hit people like that on the head with um, like whack-a-mole on these TV cartoons back in the day. Apple butter stirs. Little bit of old nostalgia right here. All in this little... Big museum. This place is huge. We're only in the first room. Look at Gypsy Lynn. There's your sausage stuffer. She she wants me to look at my sausage stuffer right here. Well, yes, it is. That is a big old sausage stuffer. There's another one here. Gypsy Lynn knows a thing or two about sausage stuffing. The apple filler down on the floor. Carriage right here. Like I said, this almost reminds me of something they would use to carry the bodies in back in the day, but I'm sure it was used for other things. Like where you can see the seating of the bench here. But yeah, that's old. Oh, yeah, it's an old bathtub. Look at these old clawfoot bathtubs. And I like them. Is that a UFO? <laughs> Oh, that, that's a, <laughs> some kind of fire pit. I can't see that far back. I thought you meant that like that thing on the wall looked like a body bag. <laughs> it's a tub. Uh, oh, that thing up there is a tub? That's what it says. Huh. Look at these spinning wheels. Come on, should be tired. That's what we need to get you to do on some wool winding. Oh, here is an old police Harley Davidson, I believe. Yes, it is. 1958. You want to see me ride this thing? Look at the size of that wheel. How big is that wheel? That's almost as tall as Gypsy Lynn. Stand up beside that. Oh my goodness. That is almost as tall as you. 
you know any of these guys in here for the racing? Come on, there's 1918, 1922 stuff in here. Yeah, <laughs> there's yeah, some collar pictures here, but I didn't know if anybody was. Well, being that that's 1968, 69. <laughs> yeah, he's around in 69. The Greenville, Ohio Spe Speedway. Here's the winner, Bob Moore. Yeah. These old time stove and refrigerators. I think Dad used to cook on one of these at one time back in the early 1901. <laughs> 1901. I swore Dad had one of those at one time. Cast iron. This place is huge. So, this is the Cape Brown Gallery. Oh, 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 look at this. Drink squirt. The fresh flavor grapefruit drink. This is awesome. This okay. nice. This is a nice museum. This place is huge. Let's go in the Second National Bank. Maybe we can find Owen Holt something. He wouldn't know what to do with this. What is this? 3X Variety. Vaudeville presented by the famous Russells. Juggling a knife throwing Reuben Boy and Jewel Sisters and their dogs. This was a show to put on back in the days. Oh, here's some of the knife throwing and hatchets and Dottie's old time players. Ed Schilling, the Choo Choo, the Clown. Don't be sad. Don't be sad. Some of these clowns are sad. But they should be happy. Don't be sad. Here's what our old times dentist office used to look like back in the day. P. Jones, DDS, dentist, and x ray right through there. Maybe I can get my mouth checked while I'm here. Here's an old doctor's office. Look at these little dioramas. Here's Dell's General Store, 1984. Let's look inside. They got triple X flower right there. Here's an old tiny house. Look at this doll house. I love looking at miniatures. They even got a Halloween room in there. There's some skeletons and some pumpkins. You got a bear. There's a sandbox right there, and that's where they all eat. We'll look in the church and we'll look in the steeple and we'll look in and see all the people. I don't see any people in church today. Maybe that's not a church. Maybe that's a school. No, that's a church. Maybe. I am totally wrong. That is not a church. That is a schoolhouse. <laughs> there. Oopsie. I was going to say I didn't see anybody in there sitting on the pews, but those aren't pews. Those are old wooden desks. Bad no matter, fumbled the ball on that one. 
Look at that. That's a big old scope. I wonder if that's a Dobsonian. I mean, it's not every day any Gypsy Lynn can look at Uranus in here. Every nook and cranny I go in, they got these little rooms that's shaped like how they have it back in the olden days. Here's the French shop here. We've got a post office here, and somebody's in there working right now. Well, maybe we can send some mail out. Right here's a barber shop. I wonder if you can get a haircut for two bits. Shave and a haircut, two bits. They got ostrich and camel races. And right in here, the, here's an old schoolhouse. Here's where all the people in the schoolhouse are. She has that wooden stick and if that little girl's bad, she's gonna spank her. Yeah, you better sit down. Here's an old saddle shop, leather and cobbler. Right here's an old beauty shop. And I've seen people use those still not so long ago over there. And some more dolls, creepy dolls on that one. That girl, she has her hands out ready to grab you. This place is amazing, though. It really is. And we've just entered a, just a couple rooms. What is this, like some kind of medicine shop right here? I don't know if they practice alchemy or, let's see, no, it's a, wow, oh wow, this place is huge. What's in here? Ooh, these are all kinds of toys and models and Greenfield Monopoly stuff. These old time glasses that you can look through, makes everything look bigger. Here's what some of the old dolls used to look back. Oh, I like that thing. Now that is a doll for children to play with. Here's an old switchboard, a telegram. How people used to have to make calls, you plug them in. The operator did. And I believe we are starting at the Annie Oakley exhibit now. Miss Annie Oakley. Now what she's famous for is being a good shot with a gun and rifle. And she was in the Buffalo Bill's Wild West show. Now we've been seeing Buffalo Bill down on Lookout Mountain. Now we're going to see the rest of the story with Annie Oakley here today in Greenville. what Gypsy Lynn used to be called, and her grandma used to call her Annie Oakley. Yeah. Now here in a little bit we're going to see Annie Oakley and Frank Butler's grave. Now they also performed with Sitting Bull in the performance down all over the country, maybe even possibly all over the world with Buffalo Bill Cody. Right 
There's little Miss Sure Shot right there. She's making sure she gets all those shots of those pictures. Annie Oakley. You know what? Gypsy Lynn is taller than Annie Oakley. Can you believe that? I don't. Now, Annie Oakley used, was 100 pounds. Now, Gypsy Lynn, she's about that. Yeah, I The life of Dave the dog. Now, see, after they were done with the Wild Bill Cody show, they took the Dave the dog and Frank Butler. They used to go around and do more shows after I think they were there with Buffalo Bill after 17 years if I'm recalling that correctly now, they were wed in 1876 when Annie was 16 can you imagine if Gypsy Lynn and I wed when she was 16 years old right, this might tell a little bit more of the history here what I was looking for so I can know exactly Annie Oakley, born in 1860, 1876, her and Frank were married, 1883, Buffalo Bill Cody show, a year later she joins with the show, there's a, I was just saying the Wild West of Paris, France, Chicago's World Fair, Nineteen seventeen, Buffalo Bill Cody dies, and then nineteen twenty-six. Here's Annie Oakley's mother right there, with the Joseph Shaw, her stepfather. I think they have some of these old comics. Yeah, I wonder if they're magazines, comics. Now that gold key is a comic back here. I know that. Some of these old novels. Now what I really like here is some of these old songs that was written for her later in life. Annie, get your gun. Anything you can do. Now here's another exhibit down here. My goodness. This is the Lau Thomas exhibit. I mean, this place is just miraculous. It goes on and on and on. Now I'm not sure who Lyle Thomas is. So let's see if we can. It looks like he was a reporter. He circled the globe. He was a reporter, writer, and filmmaker actually. That's what he is. What he looks like he went over to Saudi Arabia over there, part of the British British Army. Oh, Jerusalem. Americana right here. My goodness. This place is immaculate. That's a dining room back in the early Americana. Here's a child's toy room. It almost looked like mine when I was a kid. Look at all these little children. Look at this little boy here. He just wants to play. He just wants to play. Here's the old bedroom right here. She's ready to go night night like Gypsy Lynn back there. The little boy wants to go to bed too. He got 
what they consider parlors where they did their tea and entertaining and that's a pretty china set right there I like that wallpaper actually on this parlor looks like she's getting married that is nice I do like that wallpaper though and here is another bedroom. I actually like a painting there. That's, I can't really get to it that well, but that is neato. Here it looks like an old kitchen. This flag is reportedly the last Turkish flag to fly over Bethlehem. And here it is on display. Now that is something to behold. Now, Lowell Thomas or Lyle Thomas was on it was a TV show where he went in all kinds of exotic places over overseas, and he used to report on them. And one of the things he, he'd get gifts and stuff brought back, and some of the are right here in this display in this museum from native tribes there's other artifacts in his travels very interesting stuff very interesting man that's what kind of life I'd like to have had where I could just go all over the world travel and see the world As we leave the one area, we enter another. This place is miraculous. And there's an upstairs, too. Now, over here is the history of 1795. Historical places around this area. I mean, if you are ever in Greenville, and you love history, you love Antioch, you love American Indian history, Indian history, this is the place to go. Make sure this is a stop you, you go. I am quite impressed. I am quite impressed with Greenville. Fort Greenville. Is that Fort Greenville? That whole thing? Oh my goodness. It's huge. It's gargantuan. Some of the military, the oh, grenade, iron grenades, cannonballs. You got flints, you got musket balls, rifle balls, you got everything in here. about some arrowheads from early Indian tribes. Ooh, we've got fossils in here. Giants of the Ice Age. Ohio Flint. Here's what the Ohio ones look like around here. Get all these arrowheads. All right, here's some sage and India maize, wild rice, husk pod corns. I mean, they had it all back then, right? There's so much history going on right here. We got Uncommon Men, Prophet's Town, Families of the force, Forced, Singular Elegance, Lines in the Wilderness. It's all right here. The Prophet's Town. Now we're going upstairs. These are the Keepers of Freedom exhibits. This is like a military exhibit up here, so...
Girl Scouts. Here's Scout Ranch. Oh, yes. Some more of the, I believe, Scouts. Cub Scouts, Boy Scouts. And their badges that they wear is the main exhibit on the second floor. this I'm not aware of and at World War One I, I do you know the uniforms and everything but a lot of these medals here I'm not sure what these are like Civil War era so I'm kind of being a little quiet I'm trying to read as I go here I'm trying to learn I am just amazed how huge this place is and how everything that's in here from USS Shenandoah, the wreckage. medical blouses that the warm women wore there's the Japanese portion Pearl Harbor Survivors Association Got us into World War II. Again, I did not realize how big this place was going to be. I, I, kudos to them here. Very nice museum. Beautiful decor. Beautiful decor.